There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to uproot. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to tear down, and a time to build. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search, and a time to give up. A time to keep, and a time to throw away. A time to tear, and a time to mend. A time to be silent, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time for war, and a time for peace. As we're entering this new month, as we're finishing out a holiday weekend, it's a great time to just kind of hit pause, take some time to reflect. And Solomon in those words in Ecclesiastes reminds us that life isn't just made up of random days, but rather seasons of time. About three months ago, we, we wrestled with this question of what season are you in in your life? To name the season that you're in. For a lot of us, it was grief. A lot of it was a season of uncertainty, maybe fear. But what was that season that you were in? And maybe name the season that you're in now. I think for a lot of us, we've turned some sort of corner and maybe God is showing us some new things in this particular season that we're in. And then the second thing we were wrestling with was how can I lean in to the season that I'm in? Like what emotions and ways of coping uh, did I deal with this last season we're in? I want you to take some time to reflect. In the last three months, and there's been a lot that has changed in the last three months, what is it that God has shown you? Maybe what has He revealed about yourself? And maybe you, you don't like it, and maybe you haven't been changed in those areas of your life. But, but I think for all of us, if we really take this honest look, we can see how there's been some areas that have come to the surface in our life in this past season that we're in. And I want you to think about and, and ask God to show you what is it that maybe he's wanting me to lean into in this new season that I'm in. For a lot of us, the season we're in right now, it's kind of the season of rest. It's a season of just kind of stepping back into a little bit more normal maybe. But what is it that God wants to show you? And what is it that he has been showing you in this past season you're in? Take some time to reflect as Chris leads us in a song.
A God of ages Step down from glory To wear my sin And bear my shame The cross has spoken I am forgiven The King of kings calls me his own Beautiful Savior, I'm yours forever. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah, praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah, death has lost its grip on me. You have broken. appreciate the time that you've given this week and, and most weeks to join us in this weekly content. And I want to let you know that we're going to continue to produce 20-minute content each week to help you take a next step toward Christ. And we're super excited as we've turned a corner in the life of our church um, as, as we begin to gather again in person. And I am excited about that opportunity. If you're ready to join us, we'd love to have you in person. In fact, there's going to be three different ways that you'll be able to connect with us on a weekly basis. The first way is with this, this content, just like you're watching right now, that will be provided each week, 20 minutes of teaching. And we're also going to be launching our worship services on site in Fayette starting July 12th. So every Sunday from 9 o'clock 
Uh, it's 9.45 will be our first worship service and then our second one will be at 10.30 to 11.15. And we'd love to, if you are able to join us in person in Fayette. And then the third option will be a live stream option every Sunday at 10.30 a.m., which will be a, a live feed of our in-person gatherings. I hope that you'll take a next step toward Christ in one of those ways. Maybe it's it's just continuing to watch each week as we as we drop new content, or maybe it's it's gathering in person or watching live feed. But we really hope that you can connect with us. Um, if there's a way that we can pray for you, I would love to just email me, Andy at Fayette.church. I'd love to connect with you. If there's a way I can pray for you, or just if you just want to say, hey, um, really been watching this, and and this is what God's been showing me. I really am excited for what this next season brings, and I really pray that you would would lean in to what it is that God wants to show you in this new season. God bless. Have an awesome week.